guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about something really cool and that is black and white glitter polishes. Um, these became really popular in the last year or so. Um, they started out being really popular with Linderella's um, Connect the Dots. And Linderella, she handmade all of her nail polishes and it was a very, very original idea. Um, just black and white bar, circle and square and hex glitters and um, it just looked really, really cool on the nails. So I'm going to show you what I have on. This is not Connect the Dots, but I will get to what this is later. But this is the effect that they give on your nails. I have this over Orly's Beach Cruiser, which is over white. The Linderella polishes were sold exclusively through uh, Linderella's blog. The Connect the Dots especially became really popular, and it became really hard to get your hands on. And she was the only one that was making polishes like this at that time. Um, and then a brand called Cover Band came out uh, with one called Sticks and Stones, which is supposed to be like an exact dupe for Connect the Dots. And um, I don't know, there's a lot of drama surrounding these black and white glitter polishes, which is like, it's just, it's funny to me. It's like nail polish drama, but whatever. The maker of the Linderella polishes were not, was not too happy about the Cover Band polish, but honestly, you have to expect something like that when you have something so popular and your supply is not meeting the demand. Someone is going to come up with something to bridge that gap between supply and demand. Like, you have to expect that. But, um, anyway, there were a couple different places to get Linderella polishes. One website was carrying them. That website stopped carrying Linderella polishes because um, the Linderella polishes were going on eBay for like $100 a bottle. Hard to get your hands on, and it came out that the maker of Linderella had been supplying her brother with nail polishes to sell on eBay for like $100 a bottle. So that became really messy and they stopped making them. So I was like, how am I going to be able to get my hands on something like this? So I moved to Etsy and Etsy is full of people that make nail polishes, like home handmade, really original nail polishes, really, really awesome stuff. You've got to check some of these people out. And um, I figured at this point, someone has to have made something similar to that. So I brought in, I got a couple different black and white polishes. These two are not similar to Linderella's Connect the Dots at all, um, but this, these are like my first two tries at getting something similar to it. I have Pretty and Polished Valentino, and I have um, F4's Chunky Cow. This is Valentino, and this is Chunky Cow. And these are really cute. I have swatches of these. This is a swatch of Valentino right here. And this is a swatch of Chunky Cow. So now those didn't quite do it for me. Um, I came across another one that was uh, Lush Lacquer's Salt and Pepper. And this is extremely similar. The only difference with this is it has um, iridescent glitters mixed in. So it wasn't that um, just straight black and white glitter that I really wanted. You can see that it's very similar. But it has those iridescent glitters in it. And then a swatch of that is right here. And you can see it's really close, but again, it has those iridescent glitters in it. So I wanted to share this one that I found with you guys because it is almost identical. And this is from Aqua Daisy, and I will link the Etsy store where you can get this below. And I was just so, so excited to find this. And it's just straight black and white glitter. The swatch is right here, and it's what I have on my nails right now. And I just want to share this with you guys, like, just because I want people to know about this because someone is finally making a drama-free, not ridiculously expensive bottle of nail polish like this, and I think that's a really cool thing for people that are in love with nail polish like me, and I just want to share this specific one with you. Well, all of them in case you're interested in any of them, but this one specifically, I will link um, a the Etsy shop where you can get this below, and I will also link swatches of um, Connect the Dots and um, what's the other one? Cover Band Sticks and Stones. So you can kind of compare those with all of them. But yeah, I don't know. This was a really pointless video. I just really wanted you guys to see this dupe uh, for Connect the Dots. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you later. Bye.